What's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in to episode six of Strive U101. Today we're gonna to be talking about what type of computer you use for streaming, a quick tip, and how do you get a wireless camera feed into your stream? Do more schools use an iMac, MacBook Pro, or an Air? Thanks for the question, Christian, from Osceola. Um, who, by the way, developed our scoreboard app. Quick shout out to him for that. Um, getting great feedback from everyone. Love the scoreboard and we hope to continue to just keep tweaking that and improving it as we continue to get more feedback. Um, Christian, most schools are using a MacBook Pro laptop um, and the new one um, with two Thunderbolt ports is what most of our new schools are doing. We've had one school try to do it on air and there just wasn't enough processing power to push out a stream. Very few, I've streamed some stuff on an iMac um, just because at the time I didn't have a laptop that had two Thunderbolt ports and the iMac did. So then I could have two cameras running off of a Alter Studio mini recorder. Um, but most schools have a MacBook Pro um, 13 inch and works really well. We have one school that has a, a PC um, laptop which they've figured out. Um, they've got a little HDMI card and then they have a tower as well um, that they run two licenses on. So, but a majority again use MacBook Pro. It's versatile. You can take it to the football field. You can take it to the you know theater. You can take it to the gym. You can take it down to the elementary um, very easily rather than hauling around a, a big iMac. So, um, yeah. You know, and I there's some other schools. Um, Fillmore Central comes to mind, who's actually building their own computer. Um, you know, if you have a cart system and you can get to all those places, I, maybe a, an iMac would be better because you'll have more screen real estate. Is maybe why you're asking that is, um, you know, you can have multiple screens open, especially if you're running the scoreboard app. So uh, that's what most schools are doing. Hopefully, that helps. Quick tip on how to lower your CPU during your stream and why is it important? All right, so a quick tip on streaming that we wanted to share with you guys that we've been testing um, is a new way um, to help lower the CPU during your stream. And if you don't know, um, having a high CPU, even in the yellow when it changes to yellow or red, um, affects what the user sees on the other end. So. Um, and maybe, JC, you can flash up uh, what it looks like on mobile when the CPU is high, green pixelation, or even if you're watching on a laptop, it gets really pixelated, and that's because your computer CPU is really high and it affects the stream going out. So we want to keep that CPU as low, low as possible. Well, we just discovered in Wirecast um, 5 and, and 6, um, you can change a little encoding preset. Um, before, we've always streamed at H.264 and we'll flash that up. Well, now you can go into output settings and go into your encoding presets and we'll flash a screenshot and even um, probably a screenshot in the post as well below. You can change it to X.264 and that's just a different streaming format for video um, that lowers the CPU significantly. Um, all the schools that have done it have seen 10, 15 percent, even 20 percent lower on their CPU. And that's really important, especially as you're trying to do lots of different things with your stream. We haven't seen any quality loss, um, and there were some things that were said about maybe some audio sync issues and haven't seen that issue come up as well uh, from our tests. So, quick tip, we'll put that below. Um, again, helping lower the CPU is very important and uh, hopefully that helps and please give us your feedback. Um, if you do make, make the change, let us know how much that dropped your CPU during a, during a stream. So, How do you set up a wireless camera feed? Thanks for the question, Christian. This is a tough one. Um, integrating a wireless camera feed into Wirecast 5 um, is kind of difficult. You need some different hardware options that we're aware of at least. Um, you can add in IP cameras and things like that, but that takes the Pro version of Wirecast 5 um, and we've seen that increase the CPU as well. Um, so actually Teradek is the name of the company and we'll link them below. They make a, a product that actually allows you to wirelessly connect a camera that Wirecast has actually recognized as a partner. Um, hardware partner of theirs 
and Fillmore Central has one. Um, they use it, and they actually use it through their Intensity Extreme, so a little bit different, but they make some different products, but they're pretty expensive. Um, so we'll link up the, the Bolt and the, some of the other different Teradek products that they make um, that you can attach to your camera, and then you have a base. Uh, the battery life isn't amazing on them, um, but they, they do work. They're just kind of expensive. Um, on the flip side, Wirecast 6, um, those of you that are on that know, you can actually now integrate an iOS device. Um, Wirecast has come out with a Wirecast Cam app um, for your I iOS 8 device. So long as you're on the same network, you can add a iPhone or iPad to your, as a shot, in Wirecast 6. So we've tested that out. It does require you to have some pretty good bandwidth um, in your gym or wherever you're streaming. So the schools that have kind of not had great wireless in the gym have seen, you know, pixelation and things like that and it disconnects. Um, but it is, it does work. I've seen some other um, schools using it too and as, you know, setting up an iPad and things like that. And it's a, a little bit delayed too, so it's not perfectly in sync. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about a wireless camera is um, it's not always the, the greatest option. We want everything wired if we can, but those are kind of some of the options. Um, and we'll again link the Wirecast Cam app and Wirecast 6 information. We haven't really um, done a tutorial on Wirecast 6. We are still kind of testing it. A couple schools have it and just kind of we're going to wait till the end of the school year and, and next year to kind of promote that a little bit more and especially as Wirecast works out some bugs and things like that. So that's kind of what I've got right now on wireless camera feeds and I, I assume technology is going to continue to go that way as technology improves. So um, looking forward to 2015 to see what else Wirecast um, does with more um, wireless camera feeds and bringing that in as a source. So thanks everyone for watching the show. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, we would like to hear um, your feedback commenting below. A couple things wanted to ask. First of all, question of the day. What device are you watching this video on right now? I want you to comment below um, and let me know. Are you watching on iPad, iPhone, laptop, desktop? Um, we want to know what type of device you're watching the video on. Um, also, um, as you can see behind us, maybe JC, you can flash up to the wall. Um, we did some brainstorming. Um, we've got an exciting our uh, conference, spring conference. We started planning yesterday, and uh, we're um, going to be having that at the end of March. More details to come. We decided we're going to do another Strive View social media conference um, and talk about how to promote your school using social media like we did last year. Um, with some new new ideas, new topics, um, new apps to talk about. So look for that and also join our Google Plus community. Um, we've got 20 people in there right now. We put a poll out for which day works best. So if you're not in the Google Plus committee, uh, community, um, get in there, send me or JC an email and we'll invite you in there. I believe I got everyone that I, that I have on Google Plus um, invited. So check that out. Getting, uh, trying to get some good conversation in there and, and feedback to things that we're going to be doing with Strive U. So thanks for tuning in. Have a great week, and we will see you next week for Episode 7 here on Strive U 101.